Awesome. Is anyone else having like a light out of body experience? Or is this mm. just me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, earlier I was like staring at the ceiling and I was like, it's like I, see, I see myself talking and I'm yeah. not there. Am I dying? Un unfortunately, I, I feel yeah. like I am fully experiencing this in my body. <laughs> I don't throw darts at a board, I bet on sure things. Read Sun Tzu, The Art of War. Every battle is won before it's ever fought. Think about it. Welcome to the average episode of the Profitable Property Management Chicken Podcast, where I am here with a couple of special guests and uh, we're just about to have a hell of a good time as we do a live interview and we also get to enjoy some some good eats and some hot sauces. So boys, thanks for coming. Absolutely. <laughs> be here. This this will be fun. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I'm excited to be here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you know you are. You I'm know excited. you are. No, uh, no notice was given in advance as to the exact format. I said it would be an interview, which is true. We are conducting an interview. interview. We're also going to be just we're, we're having lunch, guys. It's noon. It's noon on a Wednesday. It's time for lunch. And here it is. So we're going to be kicking things off today before we dive into the interview with a little bit of a lightweight sauce here. This is some Bravado Creamy Herb and Jalapeno Sauce. Starting off easy. Lovely. I know you guys aren't lightweight, so I'm not stressed. You're not stressed. Can I ask the first question? Please. What happened to you as a kid that would make you drum up an idea like this? <laughs> You know, it's funny you say that. I am happy to freely concede that my childhood was dramatically impacted by being fed a lot of hot sauce. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Okay, that so was actually a thing for me growing up. I remember a comment from my grandpa at one point when I started eating like the big boy hot sauce and it was like this rite of passage. He looked at me and it was, he was like, mijo. <laughs> and I was like, okay, well, shoot, if this is manhood, you know, I'm down. So uh, yeah, it goes right. deep for me. Quarter size, you said. Quarter size, and that does that a silver yeah. dollar right there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, your, your quarters are different than my quarters. Um, I admire that. They, they my turn to dimes on the other end, but. <laughs> bon appetit. Bon we'll appetit. Mm. Mm. Very clear well, jalapeno. Mm -hmm. that's, that's actually really good. I'm gonna finish the wing. They're mm. great wings. Mm. Mm. Good wings. Yeah, Bryn hooked it up. A two for one right here. One yeah, thing. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Do we even have to talk, or what do we? Mm. We just mm. just eat. <laughs> just kind of the next, the next however long <laughs> this is gonna take is watching four grown men eat <laughs> crunchy fried chicken with great audio. <laughs> First question, guys. How does it feel being back on the road? We went mm. a year realizing we don't have to do these. These events are not a given. Other ways to grow the business, digital paid, BDR, SDR, pick your acronym, a lot of different ways to grow the, grow the business, but we get to do these events with some more distance from it, coming back to it fresh. What's the perspective and take on making this investment to bring in teams on the road? Yeah, I, I can kick us off there. Um, so, you know, one thing about the in-person events that we really like is you build those personal relationships. I think often on, Zoom calls, you know, while it's been good that everyone's really adopted Zoom, you're getting the, you know, the face to face, or at least the video cameras are on. You don't get that extra 30, 40 minutes after the call to really build that personal relationship. So we see a lot of value there. And then I think as we think about events too, it's not just about meeting with potential customers, current customers, but now that we've gone to a more virtual world, um, a, you know, majority of our team is not uh, based in our HQ city. We're, we're likely trending to be more of a virtual company over the long term. And so we also see it as an opportunity to get the team together for team building. So kind of see it as a, you know, double purpose, get the team together, team building, you know, build those personal relationships. Um, but to your point, I mean, yeah. we actually found ways to have success without the conference, it, you know, the conference is the in-person. So. And I feel like that is pretty much the definitive expert on being back at conferences since he brought more team members than there are attendees. <laughs> <laughs> So I that's that like, second piece, right? Yeah. We get the, you know, yeah. we kind of doubled his uh, team bonding. Some you know. people are doing man to man. Some people are doing zone defense. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> body for body. He, he's man to man with a full bench. Uh, so yeah. Yes. 
He's ready. He's the reason that there are caps on how many people can show up to things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Second so, nature does have a reputation for underdoing things. Yeah, yeah they, they really do. Kind of who they they are. really do. Culture, you know? so, somebody's yeah. got to push the envelope. So. Yeah. I think one of the things that's been great, because I, I love in-person interactions in general. I don't know, like ever since I started the company, I remember there was one moment where I ended up selling a really early client and it was, it wasn't, it was like one client wasn't a giant client. And I remember getting up and wanting to celebrate and getting excited, but there I was alone in my basement. <laughs> and, and I always remember that I did that for two years. It was super tough. I had to like call somebody back. Like, hey, do you guess what can happen? Uh, so, but one of the things that I think is really good is I've tried to figure out like, how do we adopt, uh, and, and work towards this newer version of the world with some of the tooling. There's a, our director of product management sent me a great, uh, article. I think it was some Berkeley publication or something, but it basically described hard work and soft work. Everybody can, a lot of people can do hard work remotely. It's the things, the heads down. The soft work is the stuff you're talking about. It's the relationship building. It's the trust building. It's the mm. <clears throat> asking about how your kids are. You're going to, you're not going to call somebody on a zoom call and do that. And right. so I think events like this are awesome soft work opportunities mm. and just making sure that that is mm. indeed what you're doing is soft work. Yeah. I, yeah. Amen. Go ahead. I, I completely agree with that. And I, I think the big difference, cause I, I do think there's value in what we've, we've been able yeah. to accomplish uh, in the industry and, and globally uh, of pivoting to a more, uh, remote virtual, but there is not a single Zoom meeting that I, I have had that people come back to and go, hey, remember the time when mm -hmm. we were in that Zoom call? That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, such, such a good point. But we come to these places and we have these experiences that become indelible. Mm. You know, it, it's things that uh, for us, for the property managers, we all remember these. Uh, these become part of our, yeah, totally. our experience. Mm -hmm. and, and that is where relationships are formed. That's where memories are created. And I just feel like there's so much value in, uh, so much value in that that we've not figured out how to reproduce that virtually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's so much you can accomplish virtually that so far is not one of those yeah. things. I'm totally with you. So uh, guys, we're heading into round two here. Don't touch the baby. Sweet and tangy habanero. Mm -hmm. Ooh, we're stepping up just a bit. I'm excited. Let's dig All in. right. Can you guys edit out tears? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm really going to make sure to get that crunch, right? That's a good idea. All right, you got to really, the, the you gotta really lead in. Chicken mm. nugget crunch. That's good. Oh, okay. I That's see where we're really headed. Good. That's actually kind of hot. That one hits fast. Wow. <laughs> like, it's not that bad, but if that's two, mm. what's... I am confident that you did not. What's seven? <laughs> I'm confident that you did not put that in order. There's no way that's still. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot. Of, uh, that was that was some. I had some pleading in that, Ray. I'm. <laughs> I'm curious. If this gymnastics. is also a surprise to you, or. Uh... <laughs> 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 mm. Yeah, I'm with you guys on what you can uniquely accomplish in person. You can see who's playing the long game, who has patience, who's willing to make those longer term investments and who's looking for a return like right now. I need a demo, right? Are you an SQL? Cause I need an SQL right now out of this conference versus folks that are willing to build that flywheel. Like mm -hmm. it just yep. takes time. Mm. <clears throat> well, that was good. That was tasty. I was gonna say, I like the breakdown of hard and soft. And I think as you think about like a flywheel or like the snowball effect, I think the soft is a critical piece in building that flywheel. Well, and it really came down to not like, you know, I'm I'm probably the biggest bah humbug in this group. I love in-person interactions. I, you know, so we're very much, we have a, a culture both in the office and then we got a culture remotely, but I defend the office one pretty heavily. <clears throat> and really it was about figuring out what jobs should have more, which jobs rely on that more. Mm -hmm. Like, and so then once you can start to sit there and go, this is hard work than soft work, then you can say, you can look at a role and be like, this requires very little soft work, just means you need to travel to the HQ and we need to facilitate that somehow right. where this is going to require a lot of soft work or it's very valuable to have a lot of soft work in this role. This is probably one that should be in physical proximity to somebody else. So this guy it's kind of ultimately what trying to answer the question on that. Are is you already it, going too, is it too early for milk? I think, <laughs> oh, no. Dude, I, was, I was sitting here. Thinking, I'm ready for the I next one. I don't want to be the first one to grab the milk. So let me let me uh, just thank you. For, I, in fact, I'm I don't gonna, I don't mind. I'll uh, join <laughs> it. A little sippy sip. I was like, I'm no with Ray. If that's game. if that's really in order, 
I only took a little sip, I but I was like, there's there's some burn. Yeah, <laughs> that's a, that, that hits fast. There's the there's the kind of hot sauces that you sit there and you go and say, yeah. like, oh, this yeah. is fine. I mean, that's eatable. Like, I could eat a hot it's, sauce. Oh, it's, it's a nice taste, but, but yes, it's got some heat <laughs> for sure. I, I'm actually going to abstain on the milk for another round, not because I'm, I'm trying to be tougher than you guys, but because I'm sitting here going, if that was number two, I'm saving this wait, <laughs> for okay. like number five or six. It's like, about... This is a, that's it's your about, phone a friend moment. Yeah. <laughs> All right, next we have Kak Alaki... Pepper sauce. Ooh, that and sounds that, delicious. Not clear on the front side heat level index where we're at, but Kakalaki pepper sauce. So what, is it all like Scoville stuff? Yeah, this is the okay. mystery one at the end. I'll have to tell you what that is at the end here. Well, I don't like the nuclear- uh, <laughs> Holocaust? The <laughs> nuclear bomb one. It's just, it's like this, there's nothing good. Like who, what in marketing came up and said, hey, listen, you know what's gonna make people wanna buy this? Let's put a nuclear bomb I, on the front I of it. And yet I think you're wrong. Yeah. I think that's exactly what they were You know doing. what? I, <laughs> and I think they do move right. units with that aesthetic. So you're, 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 you're not wrong. <laughs> all right, guys, next question. Remote versus in office. We have some believers on both sides of the aisle here. We have the, the the John the Baptist for in person over here on my left. <laughs> I know you're making a little bit of a shift more to a remote. I've always been remote. What's changed? What's staying the same in terms of office culture and where the team's at? Well, well first, uh, how was it? <laughs> oh, great. All right, here we, here we go. That I'll, one I'll should have been too. Mm -hmm. Unless All right, that's making me feel better. Back end, like you were yeah. talking about. Yeah. So I was, I was going to say that it was not bad. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll say to answer your question. Mm -hmm. So we've been remote from day one. Right. Uh, we've never had an, an in office or in person uh, culture. So we've been, you know, trying to figure out for ten years, you know, how to build culture virtually and how to how to create, um, you know, those those things that define you, um, but. You know, we were talking a little bit earlier, um, as, as Thad was telling us a little about some of the shifts that are, are happening in their business. You know, one of the great things about being remote is you can hire the best talent no matter where they are. Um, and that has been an advantage that we've had. I'll tell you one of the things that's changing for us that is a challenge. We've always been able to trumpet this remote work concept. Uh, and that is appealing to so many people. Right. So that has been a distinguishing advantage for us in the hiring process. Now freaking Thad's coming into it, and I got to compete with him and everybody else who's, who's who's joining the party. Now I don't have that distinctive anymore because Thad's screwing it all up for us. Thank you. Um, Thanks, Thad. So. I think so. one of the things, though, and it's it's number one, it's adapting to where the world's going to be and how do you position your company. Right. It's kind of interesting. So our development team has always been remote. It actually was a huge pain in the ass when you had Google and Facebook. And so now we're competing where it used to be this perk, right? Things are nor have normalized at least a lot more, but <clears throat> I would put on the other side. So it is really nice. You get a broader pool, but I think what I'm curious to see and what's probably going to tell me like how to think more in the future is like how much people can tolerate being isolated. Because right now we've <clears throat> we picked up three employees, um, one from Netherlands, uh, former Google employee, uh, one from Indiana, uh, one from Dallas, and all came in and they were like, I just hated being by myself. Mm. And so it's again, like who likes the soft work and who likes the hard work, but I'm curious if that trend continues or better tooling, better systems kind of make some of that soft work more available. And then, you know, again, you take some of the boundaries off of where you can go get talent. So. There's definitely working <clears throat> remote and then there's just working at home. Mm. Yeah. There's mm. a big difference. Yeah. Like some companies are intentional about it, and some people almost seem like victimized by it. Like mm. working at home, a bunch of kids, no childcare. This is like not going oh. well for a lot of folks. So I don't want to act like there's not a lot of effort and infrastructure behind yeah. it to make it be done well. Mm. Well, and I do wonder too, like one of the things that I think there's some first principles of human beings that you have to find a way how to solve, right? Like we've taken this thing, you know, we've got short term effects, just like anybody, somebody looks at short term, this is awesome. It's like, what is sitting there waiting that we're not paying attention to? Like you talk about it, like you've been a remote company for a while, like, so building that culture first, like, you've probably got some muscle memory, that's fine. But how does it impact somebody like me who has a team that is very much loves to be around other people? What would that do to them? Um, I, I think that'll be what's kind of interesting is how do these, I don't know, how do these people 
pivot and what do they realize about themselves after a period of time of doing it? You know, because I, I also worked for remotely for a couple of years. And so it was very manageable and doable. But after two years, I was like, I just want to like, I don't care. The janitor, do you want to post up next to me? I don't care. Somebody to talk to. Yeah, <laughs> some camaraderie for sure. And, you know, Jordan used a word that I think is really important, which is intentional. Mm. Uh, and, and I think when you're when you're working with remote teams, uh, that is the right word. Because when you've got a team that's in the office, there's a lot of, of relationship that just happens organically. Uh, literally water cooler conversations, yeah. right? Uh, when you're virtual, you have to have an intentionality mm -hmm. to facilitate those opportunities yeah. to be able to create environments where that happens. Because the fact of the matter is, everybody's not going to like their job every day. And a lot of times when, when things get tough, uh, the reason people stay where they are is because they're committed to the team that they work with oh, right? Man. and they care about Amen. the people around them. And if you can't facilitate that, um, you're going to have a lot of churn, right? Um, so when you're virtual, it has to be a very intentional action mm -hmm. to facilitate that kind of relationship mm -hmm. uh, and build that sort of camaraderie. Uh, it doesn't just happen on its own uh, like it does in, in person. You should write a book, Phil. I feel it. <laughs> and you even got the name as a, of an author. This is Phil. Yeah. <laughs> They're coming in. This is Phil coming to talk. You remember Phil? Yeah. Phil Owens? Yeah. All right, guys. We are on Dirty Dick's Hot Pepper Sauce with a Tropical Twist. Let's Ooh. give it a go. Ooh, I'm still yet um, to be impressed, by the way. Well, I was going to say, too, on um, that note, one thing we've done with the team building, and I would say we haven't got virtual perfect. We do, um, like, every Monday we try to do an all hands with the whole team, and then we do breakout rooms, and, and we kind of do a scramble. So every week you're talking to a couple different people on the team. So that's one way to build those relationships. And then this for this event... Uh, we actually brought more people than we probably would have for this size conference, but we had everyone come in a day early. We did team building and just, but you know, between the exhibit times, Man. between meetings, we're really seeing this as a team building event, which That's I think really is really cool. Same. So critical to so smart, you know, to just, you know, overall culture, energy, you know, building that team. So I'm, um, I'm totally with you. My team's training right now, two days, full training. If they're all going to be together, I feel a heightened burden of doing that in a remote environment. Yes. Like leveraging that FaceTime. And I think it does make when you're together intentional as well, right? Like <clears throat> when you've got that remote, I, I don't think anybody's saying like you can't spend time or be around your team or find ways to do it. You have to find some ways to build that trust. But I know for us, when we have remote team members come in, it's like <clears throat> everybody's kind of all hands on decks and how do we maximize mm -hmm. soft time, right? Yeah. Or soft work. Mm -hmm. Well, and one of the advantages of a shift like, like uh, you know, Second Nature is, is pondering uh, of, of going from, you know, an in-office, in-person to more of a, a remote is you're creating budget space from the money that you're no longer spending on facilities that you can create experiences for your team. And that's yeah, something I, mean, I know you guys yeah, do really well know. for clients, for team members, whatever, but you guys really do experiences in a big way. And so you can you can kind of repurpose uh, the way that you you think about the team building to where it's it's much more dense. You know, it, it's not the nutrition spread out over a long period of time. It's these really dense opportunities to get together and invest. Um, and uh, you can you can kind of build into that. And I think it's a it's a neat way to do things. Amen. That one's got some hang time, by the way. <clears throat> yeah, I, 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 the, the sweetness. Oh, it's that so good. Me. Oh, I was in. Pine yeah, the pineapple, flavor was really nice on that. A little fruity. That, that might be a take home for me. Dirty Dicks hot pepper sauce with a tropical twist. That's great. I, this, is this podcast sponsored by Dirty Dicks? <laughs> it, it is now. <laughs> cut, cut, cut me a check, Dirty Dicks. Yeah. <laughs> what a now, great. Uh, this is great. Fellas, I want to be candid. This this is hot here. Okay. So, okay. This is uh, so, so second true, time. true quarter. True quarter. <laughs> true quarter. We are moving up. All We're right. On the roller coaster, the clicking is happening. We've passed the halfway point. We have. Um, so I feel like I feel like that this is this is gonna escalate. I'm starting to feel the stomach uh, it knows where it's headed. So. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, appreciate you sticking with us here. My for, fortunately for the audience watching this, they will not be able to experience that with us. Yeah, yeah I'm like uh, <laughs> oh, this this stuff. I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> Thanks. Mm, oh girl. boy, you're feeling it. You're feeling it. Yeah, man. yeah. I'm. Uh, you're sticking with it. 
you know, a little lightheaded headed now. And uh, <laughs> so, what what percent escalation are we talking about here? Like, what how how serious is this? You know, I would get? guess this is probably a two x jump from the last, the last one we just had, and it's Ooh. not going to be completely uniform. Not all these. So I'm. There's a back half come down, but this one in particular is it's got some heat on. This is like Heinz what fifty-seven. It, what am I doing? Good things what am I come doing to those who wait, kind of stuff. You know. Like I've got a white shirt. That's my fear. <laughs> there we go. Keep working it. We're burp, at it. We're at a that nickel. thing, Ray. Burp <laughs> that thing. <laughs> Dime. Mm. You said quarters. I need. <laughs> can, I get, can I get somebody to give me a coach? You know, some a coach. Knife, uh, uh, got a knife on hand here. A plastic knife. <laughs> We're gonna have to uh, coax this out of the bottle here. Microwave it for a second. Loosen that thing up. We gotta. What is Perfect. that? Jordan Perfect. has played this game before. Yes. Dang it. Here you oh, go. Thank you so thank much. Thank you, brother. Mm. Right, that's enough for you to collectively. Okay. I, you think I can get a quarter out of that? I think so. Share right. it. Should I? I want to do this journey with everyone if this one's bad. God, so, oh, there we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, whoa, hey, whoa. Go on with this guy. Hey, oh. that's, <laughs> there are things, things that you don't want to be successful at. Make Getting us, this one out of the bottle proud, I think might be one of wow. those things. Right. That was, uh, there we go. Get it. Oh. I, kind of, I kind of feel like I got the yeah. crust. Oh, like, All right. Yeah. Here. Hold you on. you were the one who loosened the lid and then somebody else came behind and opened no, it for I, you. I and feel made like you guys almost stepped it up when they did. I feel like a little lightheaded, so we'll see how this bike goes. I like the fact that you put it on twice and they're two different colors. Right now, yeah. Like, the shape yeah, of that layers. may not have been. It's not layers. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. What, could, what's that the, first layer? Is the, it the hot or soft? We don't know. I don't know. We're gonna the find crust out. could either the whatever was on top could I'm, either be murder, yeah. or it could be backup milk. We just. For it? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna layer the base layer. Yeah, there, okay. I am, right. I am preemptively we have breaking some strategy the strategy developing now. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> That's okay. a, that, was a, that was a provisional the opening. Answers get worse here. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, here we it's go. Like, yeah, wow, the answers got real short. <laughs> yeah. real short. All right, are we ready? Bon uh, bon 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 oh, man. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. For yeah, yeah, me too. Okay. Oh, God. So I'm just going to say that. <clears throat> That does not taste good. No, no offense, Dave. Appreciate. Um, it. <laughs> Dave, I don't disagree. Dave's gourmet is um, is not a pleasant flavor. Um, this is this is built just to be pain. Um, cool. Not pain for you. I think. Um, <laughs> I think that was more than a quarter. <laughs> I think this is. This, this is a great a idea for a, for a podcast. But, <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. This is one that just kind of keeps oh, building. It sure yeah. does. Right the way. <coughs> I just got the hiccups. Um, I'm not sure if that's a bad that's sign. That's common. That's common. That's that means you're on cue. Woo! Woo! <clears throat> that one's hot. <clears throat> this is happening. <laughs> that's hilarious. I wow. might I might re I might ruin the rest of this podcast uh, with involuntary spasms. Woo! <clears throat> <laughs> 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 yeah, baby. Uh, wow. Uh, the milk does nothing. <laughs> it does nothing. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Mm. Okay. All right. That was hot. Yeah, that one started okay and it just escalates. Dude, you're like doing that. pretty well. <clears throat> I'm hurting a little bit more than I'm probably letting on. How many milks do we have? <laughs> <laughs> I need a Jessica LeBaron. <clears throat> <just> mm. <laughs> yeah, that uh, one lingers. I don't know if you get I'm crying. Yeah, <laughs> we got it. <clears throat> Does anyone want to talk right now? <laughs> or do we I, want to commiserate? Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait for my insightful question. Oh. Okay. Mm. Woo. Oh. You guys remember when we thought Jordan was our friend? Yeah, I did remember that. Those were good days. <sighs> guys. I was like, <sighs> yeah, it feels like just an hour ago. You know? <laughs> <laughs> If you were not mm. running property meld, onsite pros, or second nature, <laughs> what would you be doing right now? Mm. Well, does anybody, I feel like to talk is actually more painful. <laughs> mm. So I'll go first and I'll let you guys uh, catch up. Hit it. <clears throat> you know, I, I'm an ops guy. I've always, jeez. Uh, oh man. I'm an ops guy, and I love people. 
this out. So, <laughs> I, I was... All right. <laughs> I'm gonna stand up here for a second, sorry. I, b- I believe in you, Thad. You got this. <sighs> you know what? I don't... A bunch of BM... B, I'm saying it. B A M Fers here. Uh, uh, uh. I thought. <laughs> I thought that's what we had. <clears throat> uh, we'll see who who's still here. Who's still standing at the end. We're not done, right? <clears throat> okay. We're not I'm done. Getting, it's starting to. Se- it's getting better. We're on the I downward the, side. Yeah. I see light at the end of the tunnel. <clears throat> so I I was in manufacturing before and I loved it. I love making things and I love people. So I still would have been probably doing something in manufacturing because I I don't know. Probably. Building things, right in an assembly line. <clears throat> well, we made we made uh, cement, and so it's really that's cool. sexy. It doesn't sound sexy, but when you're in the like Raven Stadium and that came out of your place, it's kind of like pretty cool. You sit there and go, it, you get to see the built world, you know. Anybody else want to talk? <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> I don't I don't know the answer to your question. Okay. Uh, I, I pray that on-site prose continues to succeed because uh, I'm virtually unemployable and I have a degree in philosophy. <laughs> I, I don't have an exit strategy from this guy. Like, <laughs> you sound like somebody that got out of prison saying, I'm never going back. You ain't taking me alive. <laughs> I, I do not have an exit strategy. So uh, this, this, this thing has to land for me. Uh, so I trust you well. Are bullet points okay? <laughs> I think. Short sentences. <laughs> Without question. I would be in some other business, you know, growth stage company. It's a ton of fun. But if it couldn't be business, I would say something around the music industry, music production, playing music, Mm. or like snowboarding, you know, some extreme sports, something in that category. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. um, But uh, but business is fun. And and customers and product, it's all, it's a good challenge. so I can't for, talk anymore, though. You did great. You did, you're keeping it together. You're doing a great job. Yeah. For you, for somebody who, you can't even say that. It's like, what else you'd be doing? Like, well, you already do it. Whew. Yeah. I mean, you, you collect careers. Yeah. Like, you don't move from one thing to the next. You just continue to acquire more. It's cumulative mm. for you. Well, you know, guys, if you if you put a gun to my head and uh, I had to tap out and be done, oh. my answer is I would be producing some kind of art. Mm. Oh, That's wow. What I'd be doing. Yes. Of one variety or another. That's fantastic. The longer I go in my career, the more I think about business as art. And if you stripped away the business, the art's what would be left. Mm. Yeah. Man, I'll tell you what, the growth stage thing, though, you're right. Like, that is an addiction. Like, I would I would really struggle being anywhere else that yeah. wasn't that because the amount of, like, personal growth, the new stuff that I get to learn. Yes. Being forced to learn is, like, where you can't get that anywhere else. Yeah. It's so invigorating. It's yeah. Well, the thing about it is, like, that's legitimately. I say I don't have an exit strategy, but I'm, I'm, I'm with, uh, with that. Like, the business part of it is, I'm not with that right now. Like, what, what that is experiencing, uh-huh. I'm not he with is that. by himself. Uh, yeah. That is, that is the corner right now. Or? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but it's one of those things that you know, a lot of people have hobbies like golf or fishing or whatever. Like, business is my hobby. Yeah. Like, I enjoy yes. Yes. the experience of business. Um, so you know. So, the, something else along those lines. The would, personal transformation, fine. personal growth journey. Yeah. I'm totally with you guys on that. <laughs> so does it say how many school bills are these? Like, Well, we can go back and look on uh, the insanity sauce. Is but... anyone else having like a light out of body experience? Or is this mm. shit <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, earlier I was like staring at the ceiling. Yeah. I was like, it's like, like I, see, I see myself talking and I'm yeah. not there. Yeah. Am I no. dying? Un- unfortunately, I, I, mean, I feel yeah. like I am fully experiencing this in my body uh, right now. I would, I would love to be having an out-of-body experience. We're taking a small step down with some slap your mama. We're Jordan, ta- Jordan, all I can say is... <laughs> I was like, if we have to do three more, I, I might have to go die. Uh, s- small step you, down, brother. You... In good faith. Take I, the sauce from I my hand, Dad. I have to Dad. clear my afternoon. <laughs> take, take the sauce from my hand, brother. <laughs> We're doing this. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm, I'm not quitting. I'm not quitting. <laughs> Woo! Um, I made the mistake. Rule number one was don't wipe your eyes. And I used the napkin. Oh, no. Oh. I think that's where the tears are coming from. I feel burning. Yes. yes. Huge regret. Oh. Huge regret. Yeah. I will say that was the wrong sauce for me to have accidentally poured too much. Yeah. yeah. yeah that was. I saw it. That's where you got to it really coming out. That I was wondering. I am stalling. But here we go. Yeah. <laughs> that was a, that let was let a critical let me, error. Let me shake this. Let me get a little shake. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A shake, a spin. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know if the song is going to make a difference. I promise you. I, I, need, I promise I you, breakfast. it's a step down. That, that wasn't a strategy today. I promise this is a step down. Okay, thank you. Oh my goodness. So, are you a hot sauce concierge? Like, did you pick? Did you pick this or? Uh, you know, I'm not I, quite. So a, much for the dime. You just drenched that. Man. I'm not. I mean. <laughs> Like I'm, this, I'm this deep. I'm going all the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, that's what you got to do. Pain, but he is all that's in, what man. you got to do, is... guys. This sauce, this lineup, what we're doing. This is a metaphor for our careers. This it is really a metaphor is. for entrepreneurship. And you think about the soft work that's happening right here. Amen. The relationships. You guys remember? Like we're gonna talk about when we helped carry Thad. I think <laughs> out, of the, out of the room, <laughs> over our shoulders. We're At gonna noon. remember that moment. At noon. <laughs> we're gonna remember that together. Here we go. Ooh. This is a little respite. It's a mid-round respite. Oh, How no. much is it? Is that like 10% or like 50? 50. I just, oh, okay, good. good I just good. accidentally d- dipped that in some of the leftover from the last <laughs> one. <laughs> some, I thought I was done. But you know, that, away. I'm covering a little break. the last one. You can throw <laughs> that away. <laughs> <Let's>, <laughs> bury it. Uh, yeah, bury that's it. a great point. Yeah, a little break was... with some slap your mama. <laughs> I, I can't even taste that comparably. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. Like I'm gonna eat more of that just to add something to my. Ooh, I got the bottom really covered. That's a double. <laughs> Can you, you drop some of that in the milk? I don't yeah. Know. I think that's decent. I mean, to me, that that flavor. I would eat that. That flavor profile works. I'm just gonna say I learned after the last one. You don't talk at the beginning about. Oh, that's not that bad. Like some of these, you gotta like. The, you the, wait. Yeah. Wait. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna start mm. biting, swallowing, then. And then that's tasting. a that's a friend move. Mm. I ask I ask for the same, so that way I'm not return the favor. Yeah, so that way oh, I'm not. appreciated. Mm. All right, that Ooh, bad. I would have never known it was there because I can't. <laughs> Back feel my to the still got it. Oh, it's still there. Stratosphere. Oh, I yeah. mean, like if you guys want to edit no, that no, last no, no. one, you know, for my own pride, I wouldn't be upset. Mm. But. <laughs> you know, we're not but gonna it, do that. <laughs> you know, I, I know. I, I didn't know what I signed up for. I was about to say that, but no. well, you, know, you say that was I, a friend I, move, but I just rubbed that into the pores. Mm. Um, <laughs> oh man! Well, I'm telling you, man, it's a metaphor. Business didn't know what I signed up for, man. Oh my! Th- God. This is good. This Ten is like business. In? Ten years in, had no idea what I was. Signed Seven a.m. things are going well. Eight a.m. the world's yes. ending. Yes. <laughs> Nine a.m. we're riding high. Seven a.m. it's ended. And back to loser. We're we're, we're, so, <clears throat> we're coming back up. <laughs> you know, one of the things that I've actually said because there, there's moments like that you sit there and go, "Why do I do this to myself?" Like nobody would choose this out of their right mind. Like because you'll have, like you said, you, you point whatever that time was when it's like shit's falling through, it's going to hell. Like, like I. I tell people the story. I'm like, I think it's actually the delta of experiences. Like, you don't know what it's like to be truly happy unless what you know what it's like to truly hate life. For the person who's, and I'm not, if you were born and you grew up in a family where at 16 you got a Ferrari, how awesome is a Ferrari for you? It's nothing. Like, you look at a Cor- Corvette, like really nice Corvette, it's garbage. Because frame of reference requires a minimum and a maximum. And so I tell people the story. I was like, you know, this one week, I found out <clears throat> we were missing a whole lot of money, not from embezzlement or anything, but like <clears throat> account. So there were some accounting mistakes that were made. And I'm like, oh my goodness, like I'm panicking, freaking out. And in that very same week, I closed a, an amazingly large account Monster that deal. I've been working on for a long time. And so you go from those highs and lows and I sit there and go, I think this is what I'm actually addicted to is the difference between that hot sauce and, <clears throat> you know, Proverbially, right? The the shit and the amazing upside. It's like we say we want stability, but the reality is, I don't know about you guys, I need a lot of stimulation for me to maintain my edge and to stay engaged with work. And that Mm -hmm. stimulation comes from taking some risks and the threat of failure. The possibility of something bad happening is what keeps me out of bed in the morning. So I can say I want a big, perfectly stable, boring business, but the truth is, if you look at the results of what I've actually done, I don't. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> that is yeah. what it is. If you guys went through uh, went through that aspect, so you talk about what would you do if you didn't have to. <clears throat> I've always kind of had this weird thing where it's like actually having that made for you, and let's just assume you don't have the choice, then what's next? Like instead of if you don't get to do this, what would you be doing instead? But actually putting an end stop to it, let's assume you're, let's assume you're financially taken care of, like you're good. What would you do? It's actually terrifying 
thought process to go through. <laughs> Truly. I, I was like, you really think about it. It's like, what are you going to do? Because how do you get this? The ups, the downs. It's like, there's no other way. But it's like, well, I don't want the stress. But it's like, no. Do you? Mm-hmm. Do you not? It's weird. Well, let's, let's riff <clears throat> with that. And on this next one, let's talk a little bit about M&A. M&A is popular, hot topic in our industry. <clears throat> and philosophically, it's an interesting question. Because if you take the payday, the next question is, per what you're saying, now what? You've got to do something with the money, right? Mm-hmm. Take that check. I'm going to invest it. I'm going to have a secondary career. I mean, most folks that I know that are discussing having an exit are not at the point where they're looking directly in the face at retirement. There would still be some working years left for them. When you guys think about being on the ride versus that big exit in the sky, how do you think about ever being actually ready and what that destination looks like? I don't think any of us is looking to cash out anytime soon, but I mean, it is generally, it's the premise. It's why people put money in deals, et cetera. What what is timing or circumstances? What would it need to look like for you guys personally for, for a big exit to actually ever make sense beyond just the pure finances of it? So I, I've actually spent a ton of time thinking about this, more or less because I wanted to have an answer in my head that I could make a logical decision when that time came. I had to have the answer because the thing is, there's a lot of people counting on things going well, the employees are counting on it, their shareholders, co-founders, spouses, you know, all that. And so I wanted to make sure that my decision was not out from a place of fear and sitting there going like, because I don't know what's next, I can't, I can't agree to this. So spent a lot of time <clears throat> thinking through that. And so for me, I think it's, I, I love, I love scaling business. So I'm trying to figure out how to have this without as much stress and without as much time commitment. Sure. So mentoring, advising, potentially investing, like sitting more on the sidelines on some of that stuff is what I, I think that I want to do. And so to prepare for that, whenever that is, I'm starting to get involved with the organizations and stuff that allow me to local do community. Yeah. Starting to get involved. I can't probably do much right now, but building relationships time, like, like have it there to where I don't feel like it's scary. Like if that day event comes, it's not going to be scary. I've got my foot in the next thing. It's not like now what he's doing like a big brother program. He's got like a a 10 year old. He's showing a bunch of charts and graphs, trying to suck him in. <laughs> a little peddler this, entrepreneurship I I, peddling. I, I do do big brothers, big sisters, and it obnoxious. It's so obnoxious because he is like 12, and I'm like, you should come see what I like. Because I get I get fired up about this. this kid, does not care at all. He's like, you see, like, here's how the machine works. You see, this is how he like they're answering questions for people all across the country. <laughs> So he just doesn't doesn't care. He's like, Where, so where's I, where's the uh, where's the Xbox? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You guys have an Xbox. Yeah, sorry, Ray. What's your gross renewal yeah. rate back here? I didn't see that posted. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. So, so I was gonna say, like, um, you know, as I think about this piece and kind of touching on the, on the last question, um, you know, first on, you know, what would M and A activity look like? You know, what would you do next? Um, I really like what you said, Ray, about there's a lot of stakeholders, employees, you know, uh, investors, I think even customers. And I think one really important thing is, you know, reputation. How do you mm-hmm. treat people there? Mm-hmm. So I think, of course, you know, the financials matter, but really, you know, it's a good, a good opportunity where, you know, the product vision, um, you know, can continue to play out, you know, the promises you've made to customers, employees can play mm-hmm. out. So I think that's critical. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, as I think like, you know, for me personally, for team members, how does that play out? And uh, s- s- one of the lines I heard, I can't remember where I saw this, but it was like, if you really want to be truly successful, you've got to get comfortable being uncomfortable. Mm. So I think about that all the time and kind of the highs and lows is like, you know, have a day, you know, maybe a deal doesn't go the way you want, maybe mm. something with a team member, employees, whatever. Mm-hmm. You got to remember, like, if you can learn to embrace those and those mm-hmm. become, you know, not low moments that take you off track, but that is the baseline and you can celebrate the highs. Then I think it really allows you to perform yes. at a higher level. Yeah. yeah. And so, you know, to, like, you know, we I've been doing this, my co-founder started this, we're actually in college, like nine years now. So for better or worse, it's really all I've ever known in my kind of adult mm-hmm. career. And um, so, you know, I, I'm definitely I, I think it's very fun. And so as I look at this, it's like, you know, I've got a five, 10, 20 year vision, however you want to look at it, of where, you know, at least our industry products can go. And so mm-hmm. for me, you know, MA activity are things that happen as part of businesses and you know, um, for different stakeholders, but it's 
Maria's really about carrying that vision forward. Mm. And if something happens, you know, would step right into the next opportunity doing that. Is at least, you know, how, how I look at it. And dude. And you know, you never know. I've even seen in, in this call it <clears> short <throat> career stuff five years ago. I met someone and in my head I was thinking, oh, there's probably not really an opportunity here, you know, of a relationship business wise. You'd be surprised how those come back. Yeah. And so I, re- I really think about, you know, what's the reputation, how are things handled? 100%. Is, is so important. So I, I completely agree with that. I think, you know, all of us uh, would, would, would say um, what we do, like this is, this is our baby, you know? So like, sure, the money would have to be right, you know, to, to, to cash out. But I think it would also have to be selling to someone that you look at and go, by 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 selling uh, out, you know, you, you you're looking at a situation where someone else can take it further than I can take it. Sure. Uh, they bring resources to the table, or they have capacity uh, that can take this to the next level. Um, you know, those are those are those are considerations that that I think anyone who has started a business uh, or owns a business, like you want to see it go to its logical end. Mm-hmm. You don't you don't want to to sell it and then see it flop. Oh yeah. Uh, you know, that's, that's not, not something that's palatable. It's heartbreaking when you see acquisitions and it was clear it was an acquihire or the product gets sunsetted and it just kind of dies and you're left wondering, well, what was the point of that? Yeah. Was the, was the point just taking a competitor out? I don't think any of us would ever want to see that. I want to mention that this was actually produced by my co-founder, CRISPR Compass. Shout out to CRISPR Compass here. He told me this, um, which wasn't too threatening. Little habanero. That was delightful. Pleasant. That is so, the very reasonable. word I had in my head. Yeah. Great job. Yeah. It tastes delicious. And also good job to you. I think the middle, I'm hoping the last one, we'll see what happens, <clears> but <throat> that middle actually hit hard. I think it's good for the content. <laughs> it's actually been good. Yeah. Uh, I was really, I'm not gonna lie, I feel good again. Yeah. I was like seeing double and I, yeah. you know. What, what was it? Uh, is it right here? So this what, is what we have waiting for us. The bomb. It, the bomb. Oh, so this, you, is, this is going to be miserable. Yeah, it has so a warning everyone, sign. Yeah. Like that's, 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 everyone that's, is getting their lead end up. with a bang. Least, that's fair. We did, at least we didn't do four in a row like that. I, will, I, true, just, true. I actually was wondering <laughs> after that one if all my taste buds were just dead. Yeah. Because I'm like, yeah. hey, this is all okay. And just they can't feel pain anymore. That's good. It's great. Yeah, helping. slow step up here, but we're ending with... <laughs> A bang, and uh, this is actually a local production. This is straight out of Kansas City here, to bomb. Oh, picked it up when I got here at the airport, and this is actually featured weekly or whenever they do the drops of the Hot Ones show on YouTube. For those of you that have seen that, this is consistently in the lineup, and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and read it for, for so we can all enjoy. We started with hot habanero peppers and blended them with smoky chipotle peppers and natural pepper extract to create a sauce that was lab tested at 135,000 Scoville units. Woo! Wicked beyond belief. Warning. This sauce is extremely hot. Keep out of reach of children. Okay. Wait, uh, which no one, which one hit us earlier? Was it, which was the hot one earlier? This, this, it was how Dave's. Many, how many Dave's, Scoville units I don't know. That? We got, we have to look it up after the fact. <laughs> Are we, well, it we'll says, do a text it overlay. It says insane, so. What's that say? Oh, well, that's probably, and nothing hot. Beyond and, insanity. Does it really say that? This is total insanity, and this is beyond insanity. <laughs> oh my. So, fitting that we should end here. Gentlemen, hey. I appreciate you yeah. sticking with me. I got to we're we're together in this. What doing okay, <laughs> we're, we're here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Sorry guys, I got a I got a meeting. I no, gotta I like, go. What do I have exactly after this? This is. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna big big board meeting next. <laughs> yeah. I literally have a meeting at one fifteen, yeah! and uh, they're not I, they're not gonna oh. like being in the room with me. Uh, oh, <laughs> so. oh, oh. Here we go. All, All right. right, let's oh, go. Oh God, this is not gonna be fun. <clears throat> Well, you know, I did a, a, a Buffalo uh, Wild Wings challenge probably wow. like eight years ago. And so I was with respect. A, you a went the full quarter. Jordan is not playing games. Like, Lead I, from the front, boys. I, I, I have no intention of okay. trying to, to, to match you. No pressure. Uh, no pressure. <laughs> but anyway, so we're sitting there across and it's a wings challenge. There's people sitting there getting ready to timers. You can't have any liquid, <laughs> nothing. No, you can't wipe your face, nothing. But he was sitting there saying, I'm going to I'm going to kick your like it was competitive. And I said, dude. This is about survival right now. Yeah. We're in this together. Yeah. And I was like, are you on my team? Yes. <laughs> I kind of feel oh. like that's what we're doing. We're getting ready. Guys, Let's do team we it up. I, I don't Salute. think 
I think you're supposed Salud. to eat this with oh, Doc. Salud. Cheers. Cheers. Salud. Cheers. Cheers. This Cheers. is great. I'll make it a huge mess because I've got so much sauce on mine. Woo. You, you can't Goodness. unbite this. You can. I'm, I'm going in. I just want to say that tastes horrible. That genuinely tastes horrible. Mm. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Mm. Ah. <laughs> Ah, I got that Woo. all over my lips, and that is gonna come back to oh, bite me. Oh, it's in my throat. Ah. Woo. Cut the track. Ah. <laughs> no, this is. Woo. Finish strong. Oh god. Yeah. Right. I actually need more chicken to bury that. <clears throat> yeah. Woo. Ah. That was hot. <clears throat> Woo. That was hot. Ah. Not done. Ah. We don't have to continue talking, right? Like, cause. Ah. Ah, we do have ah, I, I want no, I want milk to come out of my nose right now. Is that? <clears throat> it is hard to talk. The milk makes it worse. How is that possible? It's like pleasant for a milk. Ah. <laughs> happening right now water this hurts ah. so what's the next question take us home Ray you got this ah. Ah. okay what does legacy mean? What do you want? Yeah, oh yeah. <sighs> wow, uh, guys. I am grateful for each and every one of you. Being here at my table right now, and being in this industry, and putting out a lot of good in the world, helping our customers, serving people, and playing the long, go long game. It's a pleasure to watch you guys operate at a high level of excellence. Ray, you had a a great parting shot here. What does legacy mean to each of you? Picking new friends. <laughs> Picking new friends. Mm. You, um, you kick us off, Ray. I'll go first. <clears throat> Maybe. So I think for me, and to Dad's point, you know, it's kind of like leave it better than when you found it. I do believe uh, if we don't do at least what we do specifically for maintenance, <clears throat> and we don't make that experience exceptional, one of the things I'm scared of is nobody will. Mm -hmm. And so I legitimately, you know, one of the things that I've always said is I want to be one degree of separation away from somebody who didn't think <clears throat> maintenance sucked. They had maintenance fix, fix up. And so it's making that sort of change. And then just the people, <clears throat> I talk about everybody that I get to work with, hopefully Meld University is this thing that people will look back and be like, man, that was awesome. I got lucky. It propelled me to my next thing, did my stuff. And so those two things. Mm. Mm. I admire the fact that you are able to think clearly. Right now. <laughs> Processing words is not happening right now. <laughs> you are sweating at the forehead. Like you can, it's legit. You're seeing it in the body. Mr. Big English over here. Uh, yeah. Philosophy. Yeah, I think uh, I, I think we can say, uh, Jordan, collectively, we are not currently thankful for you. Um, but no, I think legacy uh, is built around impact um, and and what, what difference you do, or what difference what you do makes. And... Uh, it's it's about impacting lives. It's about impacting businesses, um, and uh, waking up every day feeling like what you do makes a difference, um, and being able to look back at it at some point in your life and go, "I did that," yeah. and and people have benefited, and you know it, it continues to perpetuate even in my absence. That's 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 what that's what legacy looks like for me. 
I feel you on that, brother. Thank I you. wasn't sure if you Somebody, felt that or if you were pounding your chest to try to like conjure a bird. I, kinda, I, I feel sure. like I was understanding I you, but I'm curious when they go back and edit all this, if it's just going to be mumbled and we're just in a different, <laughs> yeah. we're in a different level of communication. I'm here. not even sure that was coherent. Uh, Telepathic. So, yeah. All right, that'll give you some respite. Say for me, super cornball, but for me, helping people achieve and become more than they thought possible is the whole freaking enchilada for me. Mm. Clients, employees, and team members, being a part of the human journey to watch someone go from point A to point C, D, F, as far as I can, as far as they can go and as much as I can contribute to that journey is incredibly rewarding. It's the journey I'm pursuing myself to grow, to become something new, to make the most of the talents that God has given me. It's deeply rewarding. To, so to see that, to see something in someone else that maybe they don't even see in themselves and to cultivate it and call it forth and to help them flourish and make the most of it. That's the whole, that's the whole game for me, boys. Wow. That was beautiful. That round us out. <clears throat> well, I'm, I'm seeing devil. So I'm curious to hear what I say when I watch <clears throat> this, but as it stands um, in the moment. Yeah. Um, honestly, I, I love what you guys have said. I think, um, in terms of legacy, just creating really memorable relationships, experiences for people. And, you know, when I sit down 20 years, you know, those, those moments we remember and hearing where people have come, how they progress. Um, even now, um, you know, those are what drive me. And really, um, I think, you know, building those and being able to look back at all that collectively, ourselves, employees, customers, even the people they represent, you know, how we've positively impacted things. And so I have no idea if what I'm saying makes sense, by the way. It's uh, does it? This it's, is an out of body experience. You, you, <laughs> guys, I, I don't, my, my mother d thinks pepper's hot, like salt and pepper. <laughs> uh, she would be on the floor right now. And I think that passed down to me. <laughs> So, um, you should be proud of yourself. I keep feeling no, like this, the pain I mean, is like, going to diminish. You, know, just even this group, uh, you finished it, baby. I love, I lo like this group is a great people, a great people. This is a great people. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I just I love people and seeing where things head and, and how things have changed. So, whew. amen. Oh, man. <laughs> Brilliant idea. I, I have a bone to pick with you later, but <laughs> I'm kidding. This is, this is fun. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh. eight bones to pick next, with you. Next time, later. two milks um, for yeah. me. <laughs> I okay. There's a lot of uneaten wings. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Next time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> may, <laughs> may this become. <laughs> this is. May this become a, a Narpin national tradition. Uh, cheers to that. Gentlemen, it was an absolute pleasure. Oh, boy, Thank you for cheers. coming on. <laughs> wishing you, each, wishing you all the best. <laughs> yeah. oh. Until next time. Thanks for coming on, guys. Woo. Thank you. Jordan here asking you, what do you got? What is a question you wanna ask me? Can you stump me? Can you throw me something hard, perplexing, vexing, something you feel tied up in knots with? Throw it at me. I'll do my best to try and answer that question, to dissect it, to parse out the nuance and maybe help you get a bit more clarity. I'm looking for questions as the basis for creating content and you're looking for answers as the basis for clarity and wouldn't it be perfect if those two things matched up? Drop a comment, send me, send me an email, jordan at leadsimple.com. Let's stay in the conversation. Peace.